Well, hello and welcome back, everyone. Oh, oh, um, shit. What the fuck was that? What was the code? Uh, 9155. Okay. Got it. Here we go. Oh. What? What are you doing here? Taking your alcohol in this torn picture. Oh, shit. Froze? Don't come near me! Oh, motherfucker. He's dead. My key! Oh, I got it. Fucking hell yeah. Alright. Well, that worked out um, pretty well. Uh, I'm sure he would have said something to me <laughs> had I just waited a second. Huh. Yeah, that happened very differently than it did the last time. Um, the last time I played this, I think... When I pissed off the wolf man, he warned the doctor that I was coming. So the doctor was like waiting for me and he had a syringe and he popped out and fucking paralyzed me and shit. I'm pretty sure. I might be remembering this wrong, but I think that's how it went last time. Well, now that I've got my key, I can go back to the fucking underground. I might as well go and get my shit fixed up before I go anywhere. And at least grab my bell just in case. I don't think there's going to be another hideout after this, but I'm really not sure and I don't want to take the risk. Taking them long enough. Well, come on. There you go. Uh huh. And it soaked up my glass. Well, goodbye, cr cruel world. I will be leaving you behind for hopefully something better. Take my meat. Take the other meat. Now to pack up the important things and move on. The man grabs my arm and pulls me closer. A strong, strong smell of mushrooms assail my nostrils. The old sack covering his body slides down, revealing his chest, covered in horrid growths. It is fused with a porous helmet, pulsating to the rhythm of his breath. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Without loosening his grip, the man raises his left arm, bringing his forearm to his face. It's pale as paper and reads, do not open the door, let's stick together. Do I have a choice? He does seem to be covered in mushrooms though. All right. No, I think. I think it's finally time. There we go. I've got my bell. Good jump, baby girl. So proud. Okay. Um, I, s I don't think I figured out what the deal was with this hunter's house. Uh, ah, shit! <laughs> Fucking dogs. Too damn many of them. Okay, before I go to the next place, I have to figure out what's behind this. <clears throat> Fuck. 
there's something in there, I'm sure of it. Oh! Yeah, he sounded a little angry about that, but it's fine. Bear trap. Corpse. Dog. Nine volt battery. Good. Where? I mean, he's clearly somewhere and he's angry, but where? Well, come on. Whatever the fuck it is. Oh, there he is. like death but I'm pretty sure he's not dead So good. Uh, uh, empty bottle. Stuffed links. Bathtub. Mushrooms. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have room for those. Here we go. I not get in here last time. Shit. Oh god. There's so many bear traps. Oh Jesus. a whole mess of them. Oh, this would have been a great place to go had I fucking known that I could even come in here. God, <laughs> he's been consumed. No, that's not gonna work. Wedding ring. Is that it? Alright then. Well, this is it. 
locked. It's my only way out. Won't be able to open it without my key. Well, luckily for me, I have the key. Here we go. On to the next adventure. isn't quite what I expected. Best not to waste my flashlight. I know this looks vaguely familiar. Sure hope there's no monsters in this tunnel here. That would be very unfortunate. Huge root! White goo slowly seeps from the giant root. It flows down the hallway as if guided by some unseen force. Another root. Doing the same thing. More roots. Oh! Hey there, guy. You alright? Oh! The lights are not, uh, not letting me see very well. I stumble upon something amongst the rubble. Uh, amongst the rubble. Fuck, I can't talk today. It's Jesus! Made of mushrooms. The tunnels collapsed recently. The reinforced steel protruding from the debris has not been covered with rust yet. When I gaze into the tunnel, I notice a silhouette of a man on the ground. I can't quite see it in the image because the lights keep flashing. Suddenly the man snaps to life as if woken from a deep slumber. Who goes there? I hear a faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you... are you one of them? I don't know. situated. I don't know, who do you mean? The man attempts to get up but fails. I can see him desperately flailing his limbs around. It's as if his back has been glued to the ground. No, please. As I approach him, he shuffles his legs nervously, as if trying to retreat into the collapsed tunnel. I didn't do anything, I beg you. I just wanted to pass, to get back to my family. The tree has blocked the only way out, the only path home. A huge talking tree. I begged it to let me pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me. So he came here. For some reason in my head, he's got the voice of the, the tavern keeper from the first Diablo game. Thank goodness you've returned. The man props himself up on his elbows. With a huge effort, he tries to straighten his body, but something is firmly holding him back. Holding him by the back and the neck. I can't. I can't get up. The man drops into the roll and goes silent. He clenches his fists. My head hurts. The man places his hand on his forehead and feels a strange dent above his left brow. He freezes. What? What is this? He carefully inserts his index finger into the hole. His eyelid twitches. My stone. I hear a sound as if an eggshell cracking. The forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick goo spews from the wound. I can hear a skull cracking. My little stone. The man slowly removes his fingers from the hole in his head. A colorless ooze dripping from them. He's holding something. A round object. That's why. He swings his left hand and throws the object at me. A small irregular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. Looks like a bullet, but it's... Soft? Huh. It does look like a bullet. This. This is what put me to sleep. His head lifelessly, lifelessly drops to the concrete floor of the destroyed tunnel and goes still. That was disturbing. Why'd you do that to me, guy? The tunnel is completely caved in. I will not be able to break through this way. I'll need to find another way. I can't... can't see the guy. 
I mean, I, yeah, I can kind of see him. He's right here. His legs are... It, it's hard to see. <laughs> I'm sure if y'all pause it, you can see it better than I can. I'm sure that's what I'll do when I'm editing. This torch. A big sign on the door reads closed area. Mushroom, another torch. I need that rusty, rusty iron cowbell. Oh, it's got like carvings and shit in it. Like the ones on the floor. That you see sometimes out in the wild. No doubt put there by savages who've gone crazy. They're starting to see shapes in their head. Whoa! There's his face. Just wanted to pass. But you shall not pass. And then he passed away. Ah, so he passed after all. That was a bad joke. I don't know, I'm just filling the silence at this point. Anxiously awaiting the thing that'll come after me. Because no doubt something is going to come after me. Oh, just wanted to pass. What? Wait. I can still hear it moving. All right, fuck it. I'm running for it. Oh no. Running doesn't do my much good. He just wanted to pass. Growths. Some strange organic growths. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, a soft organism growing out of the ground. It fucking scared me. Do you not like the light? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. Fucking, I forgot. Shiny stone. Shiny stone tied to a wooden cross. Okay, do I get the stone though? Because uh, those is worth good monies. No, Kali. No! 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 Alright, fine. As long as you're not too in the way. I'm gonna need one of these mushrooms before they go bad. Uh, body. A dried body of some man. Only skin and bones covered in roots. You're surprisingly well preserved. There's a small hole in his forehead. Let's see, it's been lying here for more than two years. And you, my dear, need to not be on this table. Fucking cats, man. Didn't even say hi. Just jumped up here and got all up in my shit. Oh, stairs. Is this where I need to be? Is this the way out? Oh. Chapter two, finally. I think there is another hideout in this area, but I'm not, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is, this is a hideout. I'm not sure if the, um, if the bike man will come here though. But I will try. Damage compressor. I didn't even fucking read all the shit. Damage compressor used to refill oxygen tanks. Should I should be able to fix it. Okay. I just need one of whatever the fuck that is. What? I heard squooshies. Oh, 
rusty oxygen tanks. They're useless. Generator, which has some stuff in it. Uh, corpse. Note. The map is outdated. It must have been prepared around two years ago. The woods have changed considerably since then. Moreover, it's so ragged it's barely readable. However, I think I can make out the position of a cottage near the junkyard and the village with that tree. Oh, I know what it's talking about. Whoa! A knife! Does not interrupt enemy attacks. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. I know what those things are about. Radio! It's covered in a thick layer of dust. It looks like no one has used it for a long time, but it still smells of warm plastic and burnt wires. I feel like that thing's gonna be talking to me. Um, here's the oven. It's already on for some reason. Um, where is the workbench is my question. Is it this? Nope, that's a chair. It's a light. Uh, there's a broken wardrobe. Chair. Here's the workbench. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of an easier place to wall off. Maybe. I just need to like pull a wardrobe or something over here. Whoa! What in the fuck? There's something going on with this. Burn! What in the fuck? There was just- oh okay. I can only decipher individual words. Shell, thick goo, and light. There was some weird shadowy stuff on here. Looks like the light has burned the shell away. Okay. That was weird, but all right. Well, I guess I'll get this place set up. Oh, okay. There's a lot of explosives around here. I think they were preparing for something. Probably the same thing I'm about to do with these explosives. What the fucking hell? Oh Christ. Oh! Oh! Oh no. Oh, that actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck? I think that man was possessed by an insect and now the bug is gone. I think. Ooh. Nowhere to save. Ooh. Ooh. badly as it could have gone. There could have been a lot more things going on. They got a mushrooms. And that's good. Gained reputation with the three. Got 250 for making it through the night. Time to meet our new traders. Mm. The three visitors stare at me in silence, as if waiting for my move. I could only hear the heavy breathing of the tallest figure, holding a giant bag. As the tallest figure opens the bag, the room is filled with an intense smell of mushrooms. Apparently they wish to give me something. Thanks! 
Cool. All right. Uh, I can't show them anything and I can't talk to them, so I guess they're just here to be creepy and sell me things. Okay. All right. I've met the new traders. My hideout, I believe, is ready to take on the night when it gets worse. I'm gonna go exploring. I don't think I'm gonna go to the village just yet. I really need to work on collecting some resources because I basically have to start all over again now. But I'll see you guys whenever I- <gasps> No! Oh no! A body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been severed. Oh no! It's the traitor. Kitty the underground. Key to tunnel number 21. Oh, it's covered in mushrooms. Gross. Weird book. Also covered in mushrooms. Uh, a head. A severed head inside a helmet. It has liar written on the on the face, I think it said. Kimsa. I think. I don't know. No, he's fucking dead. I bet it was those fuckers. Those those three guys. They did this to him. He's dead now. And I feel kind of bad. Ass. There's a lot more savages in this place <laughs> than the other places I've been. Alright, let's try this again. Oh no, the screamer! is on fire. There's stuff in there. I just have to very carefully get close enough to pull this stuff out. meat in it. There's something about those holes. I have vague memories. Bad memories about those holes. I think there might be like, like sometimes monsters come out of them. I really don't know. You're gonna have to break through several things. Ah. Little do you know, this was a blessing. Is that 
Something's fucking stopping around my house. And I don't rightly appreciate it. Uh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. It is not good. Oh, shit. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Fucking human spider. I don't think so. Oh shit. Trying to come through. Oh Jesus! Oh fuck. I am so screwed right now. I am five levels of screwed. Oh shit. Uh, get me out of this. Get me out of this bullshit. Fuck you! Fuck you! If I could just get- if I could just get a, an attack off- okay. 15 minutes from daylight. I get fucking overwhelmed by several things. Alright. Okay, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do next. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna involve a lot more exploring and trying to pick up more supplies. Because uh, I'm running out of running out of reputation points pretty quickly, <laughs> spending them all to to get more nails and fucking fucking wood. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.